The university recognizes outstanding individuals who have contributed to society and their professions. And we do this through giving honorary degrees and honorary awards. And today we'll recognize one of these outstanding individuals, Vice-Chancellor. It was unanimously resolved by the Senate and the Council of the University to confer an honorary degree of Doctor of Health upon Professor Shahina Pardan. And now Professor Robert James will present the candidate of it. Chair of Council, Vice-Chancellor, guests and graduands, I'm thrilled to be speaking today on behalf of the University, the Faculty of Life Sciences and the City of Bradford to welcome our Honorary Doctor of Health, Professor Shahina Pardon. Professor Pardon was appointed as the first female Professor of Optometry in the UK in 2001 and one of the first Asian women to become Professor of any discipline in the UK. She graduated with a first class honours from the University of Bradford, no less, and was awarded the best student prize in 1984. Professor Pardon continued at Bradford with the support of a scholarship from the College of Optometrists to complete her PhD thesis, Summation and Inhibition in Binocular Contrast Detection. She joined Anglia Ruskin University as a professor in 2001 and in 2009 was appointed director of the Vision and Eye Research Institute. Under Professor Pardon's strategic leadership, this research institute has received world leading status through its publications and impact, directly benefiting patients and policymakers including the World Health Organization. She has found innovative ways to translate her research findings into interventions that have reduced health inequality and improved the outcomes of people who are underserved. Professor Pardan is a recipient of the first Ismaili Award for Excellence postgraduate category, the Asian Women of Achievement Award professions category 2001, the Asian Jewel Award, Health, Care and Education category, 2005, and the College of Optometrists 2022 Research Excellence Award. Professor Pardon has published 203 research papers, including 12 papers in the prestigious Lancet Journal, and has won grants from many funders, including the EU, NHS, Newton Fund, and the Royal National Institute for the Blind. Her research has benefited over 110,000 people in the UK, India, China, Nepal, and Thailand, and has been utilized in research excellence framework impact studies. Professor Pardan is an active member of the Women in Vision UK network, having given invited talks and written editorials on women in leadership and academia in the UK and USA. This work in improving equity for women in academia led to her being included on the Ophthalmologist Power List 2019 as a champion of change, one of only 10 people to be recognized as such in 2019. Shahina is a shining example of a member of our University of Bradford alumni community who is making a difference in society. She is an outstanding role model, not only to our optometry students, but to all staff and students across the university. Vice-Chancellor, for her world-class research that has made real impact and her work to promote EDI in HEI and beyond, I have great pleasure in presenting to you for an honorary Doctor of Health, Shahina Pardon. By the authority vested in me, I admit you to the degree of the University Doctor of Health. Congratulations and thank you for accepting this. Thank, thank you. you. It's the paparazzi. 
Merci. <rire> Chair of the Council, Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, fellow graduates. I am delighted and honored to have been presented this award, and it is with great pride and pleasure that I accept. Thank you. As you've heard from the kind citation, my links with the university go back many years. I have very fond memories of the university, especially the Department of Optometry from which I, my brother, two cousins, and my partner, who is here, to, here with me today, also graduated. I am where I am today because of the strong foundation I received from the university nearly 40 years ago. Not just in training me to be an optometrist, but also in preparing me for the challenges of life. I'm full of admiration for the students graduating from the University of Bradford, who lead the way across the world in many areas, whether it's in clinical practice, research, or industry. In fact, as a testimony of how highly I read the graduates from Bradford, my most recent research fellow, who joined me in Cambridge last month, is also being awarded a PhD here today. So to everyone who's graduating today, I congratulate you on your hard work resilience, and now this ultimate success. The last few years have given us all unprecedented challenges, and you have all triumphed through. Well done. I wonder if I could ask you to reflect for a moment on your first day at the university, and then reflect on the distance you've traveled since that first day, and how much you've achieved meeting deadlines, working late at night, battling with computers that crash, worrying about whether you could have written something more on that exam paper, <laughs> learning from mistakes, and gaining new knowledge. I also hope that you've made many friends who will be there with you for a long time, and that it was not just hard work, but you also had some fun too. We should not forget the great support of your lecturers, your friends, and your parents, many of whom are here with you today to celebrate your success. And it is also their success. I think they deserve a big round of applause. I have never forgotten the support and kindness of all my lecturers, especially my PhD supervisors. Bill is here today. Nor have I forgotten my fellow students who were there for me as I arrived from a little town called Mwanza, based in a country called Tanzania that very few had even heard of. It was the first time I encountered snow, and Bradford was particularly cold that winter especially to a young girl who until then had lived in temperatures that never went below 25 degrees. And I had to learn a new language that I came to appreciate as the famous Yorkshire dialect. And conversing with friends from Yorkshire in my broad African-Asian accent has been a source of amusement even to this day. I would also very much like to acknowledge the tremendous support of my partner John, my family, and my friends, some of whom are also here celebrating with me today. Thank you. As you embark on the next phase of your life, if I could offer some advice, be kind to yourself and show empathy to others. Aim high, dream big, work with integrity and give your career your very best. Find mentors who will support you. Remember, it will not always be easy as we have challenging times ahead. But from tomorrow, you will have the opportunity to be part of the solution and shape the future because you are our future. Go out and embrace it. But today, you enjoy the day and party. Wish you every success as you step out into the future. Good luck and congratulations again. Thank you.